Welcome to this video tutorial on defining the trading rules and actions. After this video, you will be able to check the condition and take long and short positions. Define the order quantity and value. After you have defined the alphas for your strategy, the next step is to define the trading rules. What are trading rules? Trading rules determine when to place the buy or sell orders when the particular conditions are met. The crossover strategy trading rules are shown on screen. To implement this trading rule, click on the Define Rules button on the left panel. Here you see the four types of trading rules available. These specify when to enter and exit a long or a short position. Drag and connect the Enter Long block to the trading rules step of the strategy block. Connect the Golden Cross variable to the Enter Long for block. Within the enter long block, you define the order parameters. Click on the actions button. You can pause the screen to see the various actions available. You can place an order, cancel an order, square off positions, or do nothing. The actions can be for the entire portfolio or based on select asset tickers. For the crossover strategy, you simply need to buy and sell the asset. Select order buy and place it inside enter long for block. In the order by block, there are three parameters. The first is the order by unit. For example, buying 100 units means buying 100 shares of FTI. The second option is order by value. It means placing an order for shares worth the specified amount. For example, buying shares worth $100. The third option is order by portfolio fraction. It means placing an order using the specified percentage of portfolio capital. For example, buying assets with 1% of the portfolio capital. And if your portfolio capital is $10,000 then it will buy shares worth $100. The method can be target or regular type. Target method is used to achieve the specified target by taking into account the existing positions. For example, if you already have 90 shares and then you place a target order for 100 shares. The strategy will place an order for 10 shares so that you have 100 shares in total. The regular method simply places an additional order without checking existing positions. In the same example as before, if a regular order of 100 shares is placed, then 100 new shares will be bought. After the order is executed, you will have a total of 190 shares. The orange number block is the specified unit, value, or portfolio fraction for the order action. The positive sign indicates buying, and a negative sign indicates selling. For the crossover strategy, select order by portfolio fraction, target order type, and put the number as 0.25. This will buy the asset worth one-fourth of the available portfolio funds. Here it is important to keep the order type as target since you only want to buy or sell at the crossover points. If you keep this setting to regular, your strategy will buy and sell continuously between any two moving average crossovers. This can have disastrous strategy results. Like the enter long rule, you can add the enter short trading rule. Here you set the trading rule as the death cross, and copy the action block using keyboard shortcuts, Control c to copy and control v to paste the order quantity is set as negative 0.25 that's all for this video in the next video you will learn about scheduling and order parameters